What's up guys, it's your boy, Herbopulous Michael, and today we are talking about Rick and Morty. Now, my main issue is that, um, I guess the problem being that the, the fandom is a little bit crazy, in that, you know, we're a bunch of idiots fucking talking about how they're more intelligent because you watch Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty... As much as I love Rick and Morty, Rick and Morty is just a cartoon. Um, it's a show that someone created, and it it's, does not make your intelligence better. Um, it it doesn't it doesn't make you better than everyone else. It it shouldn't it shouldn't because then that would that would that would be stupid. Um, you got to realize is that people who are really big fans of Rick and Morty is that uh, and and look up to Rick Sanchez is uh, Rick's an asshole, and uh, he he doesn't like people at all. Uh, if he was a real person, he'd probably hate you, most likely. So, the the intelligence part of, of everything, it, it doesn't it doesn't make you intelligent. And I think a lot of people in the fandom think that way. Think that they're, uh, I guess, gaining intelligence by watching the show, because it's about science or whatever. And about alternate di dimensions and whatnot, and all that good stuff. But it doesn't. That, that being said... Another problem is the Szechuan sauce, which is such a big deal, which is which is fine, which is fine to have the Szechuan sauce. But people were going crazy, and it was was it this Saturday or that last Saturday, that last past Saturday, uh, the eighth, maybe the ninth of October. The Szechuan sauce came out. Everyone fucking lost their fucking mind. Th this is. This is the shit that we don't need because it's just fucking obnoxious. It shows other people who just want to enjoy fucking Rick and Morty. It just shows us as like, just... We're going to end up losing Rick and Morty if people keep acting like this. Because the creators aren't going to want to watch, want to make the show anymore. Because there's piece, pieces of shit that watch the show and think that they're validated in some type of way. I mean, you push a creator more, like more and more... That he doesn't want to make the thing that he's making, creating, it's no longer fun for him, that he's not going to make it anymore. So, just enjoy Rick and Morty for what it is. Another thing that happened uh, the past couple weeks since season 3 of Rick and Morty is the, uh, I guess, bash on female writers on the show. Which I don't get is a problem, I mean, I, I, I don't see why you have to have a penis in order to get Rick and Morty. It's not something that's you know, elaborate, or male-driven, or just stupid, because most things that guys like are stupid. But my point is, is that Dan Harmon went up, you know, one of the co-creators went to bat for the female writers, and, you know, he shouldn't have to, because it's just a given that there's no reason why they can't have both sexes as writers. It's fucking stupid. And, I don't know, I, th I feel like... I mean, if you haven't heard the story yet, it, he already you know went to bat for him, and and it's just the point that it just feels like a lot of the whole stereotypical neckbeards that have been watching the show are kind of like just just being kind of they're shitheads. They're pretty much shitheads, shithead people who just run around quoting "I'm Pickle Rick," "Wubble Wubble Dub Dub," "Tiny Rick," "Fucking I'm Mr. Meeseeks, look at me," "Ooh wee," all the fucking catchphrases that people who fucking just pieces of shit who want to ruin the fandom of, of Rick and Morty. Those are, those are what you find, you know. And, and if you don't watch Rick and Morty, you're you're out of the loop or whatever. I hate people like that in any show, in any big following, and someone doesn't watch it. It's such a big deal. That annoys the fuck out of me. I think the neckbeards of the fucking Rick and Morty fandom should just fuck off and just enjoy the show for what it is. But, I mean, just... just the fandom is just, just awful... They think they're super intelligent. Just going over some stuff that I, I wanted a basic, basic stuff. It, it, it's overall I enjoy Rick and Morty. I think it's a good show. I just think that you know all these fucking neckbeards and fucking you know these people who think they deserve the show, the people out there that like think they they're owed this show and think that that this is something that they they are entitled to or some kind of like fucking you know, thing that they they deserve. If you look at fucking Joss Whedon about the Avengers movies, he gave up because people were getting so fucking annoyed with him about 
just little details that that don't matter and I think if you push enough pressure on the creators Justin Roiland and Dan Harmon they're not gonna want to do it anymore and I enjoy Rick and Morty very much I think it's a funny intelligent show I don't think it makes you intelligent but I think it's an intelligent show and with a lot of funny shit in it and it's got his own lore and its own you know type of stuff to it and I like that and there's no reason why we have to ruin it so just keep in mind enjoy it and don't you know shit on other people because they don't watch Rick and Morty or just overall just don't be judgmental don't be a piece of shit about Rick and Morty and because you watch it you're better than everyone else I don't have anyone in particular I know who does this but I'm sure there's people out there who think they're above the intelligence spectrum because they watch a show that was made by two guys who just enjoy it. Just because the main character is an intelligent man does not make you make make you more intelligent by watching so. So that's it for me guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this video and think about Rick and Morty differently. Or if you've never watched it, maybe you're watching it now. Maybe you're gonna watch it because I said so. Um, it's a great show. I enjoy it so much and uh you know and just 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 have a good day in general wubba lubba dub dub where are my testicles summer don't forget to like and subscribe